First of all, we love her art, and that's the beginning point. We love what she does, and as a consequence, it's easy to imagine how we can continue to develop the relationship as we go forward. But we've never really done as much with one artist before as dedicate an entire gallery, if you like, to them. Um, but we think that it's worth it, and I'm just excited to do it. I think that it is going to give us, as you mentioned, um, other opportunities with uh, particular design customers, because you know, we offer options in this art that we really don't in the rest of our art and what we want to do is provide solutions to those designers and, uh, and Carol's line allows us to do that. I have always been project based so for me I think I come about it very differently than a traditional artist. I'm more interested in how the painting works within a space and with the color palette and the feeling. Generally I get inspiration from the project itself I always sign my original works on the back for that reason because I never wanted the art to infringe on, on the final effect of the room. I never knew whether a designer wanted to turn the painting or, or use it different from how I had envisioned when I painted the original work. In my learning to do this, uh, learning to print and, and my techniques, I, I learned that I could manipulate each work. So within each painting there's a horizontal version, a vertical and a square. And it really comes down to my painting style and, and how we digitally capture the work. From that and, and really uh, learning the art of printing, I started to notice a cloning effect within the artwork and started isolating sections within the paintings. And creatively, it just kind of spawned this whole process that I call textiles because for me that, that made the most sense to actually give it a definition. So those are counterparts to the abstract. You have a great complementary, but, but very different. Um, so it gives a, a different feel from the abstract work. And then just started building upon that idea. And so there's actually entire collections within each painting of the textiles. Carol's art, to me, has a very serene quality to it. It's really very beautiful. And, but there's more to it than that. For, so, for me, somehow, Carol seems to capture not only the colors and, and sometimes you, you imagine um, you know, landscapes or you imagine seascapes in the art, but there's also not only the place, but somehow there's a time involved. In other words, I feel like I've been at that place at that time. And, and so that's very difficult to capture, but somehow Carol's art does that for me.